Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with an update for the Day of the Dead project pan. This is a project that I created with one of my really good friends, Jen, and her channel is Project Beauty. Go check her out. She's been putting out videos like crazy and I've been not and that's okay. Um, for this video, we created a whole bunch of prompts that have to do with Day of the Dead, the celebration, and the beauty of it is we have two prompts for each number, an A and a B. So in order to roll out the prompt, you have to do A and B. So this project started on November 2nd of 2023, and it ends November 1st of this year. Those are the days that the Day of the Dead is celebrated. So let me get going with the products that I still had left in this round. The last time I updated this project, I still had two um, prompts left in, and I decided that I wasn't gonna roll anything else in because I wanted to make sure, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm right on that. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I, um, yep, I'm right. I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to, or I didn't wanna extend myself and choose another prompt because I knew I was not wearing makeup as often. Okay, wow, that was hard to get out. So the prompt I had in was for 7B parties. Where is 7A? I think I already went through that one. Oh my God, I'm so confused. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so I had left, I had 7B. 7B was um, this Tropico f Fruit Lighter from Cleona. This is so gorgeous. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I just love it so much, and I do wear it as a highlighter. This is a like gold, green, pink flip. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I don't feel like it looks funny, like, what is she wearing on her face I just I think it's a what is she wearing on her face because it's beautiful not because it looks weird um, I know a lot of people are a little bit f afraid of colorful highlighters and I was too but I, I just think it's lovely I had a goal to use it five times and I did for prompt number eight eight a was sing and dance a celebrity makeup skincare or hair care brand I brought in one of my favorite foundations the flower beauty light illusion foundation I had a goal to use this five times and I did I want to get more use out of this because I really enjoy this foundation and I don't want it to expire on me or go bad so I got my five times usage and maybe I'll roll it into another project soon but I do want to get through other foundations as well well. So this one's going away as well. For na uh, that was for 8. Oh, I had 8B already done. So then for 9A, um, favorite fruit or food, a food theme scented item or has food as an ingredient. I pulled in my Phytosurgeon's Magnetic Maple um, eyeshadow. I really loved this eyeshadow. It is a stiffer formula than like the Painterly paint pot or any of the paint pots, the MAC paint pots, but it is beautiful. This is Phytosurgeons and they're definitely a different brand. Even though this is like stiffer, this is just, look at that bronze. It is so beautiful. It's like a purpley bronze and for a one and done, it was lovely for a one and then like buff it into the crease and then maybe put a lighter shimmer over the top. It was lovely. I'm so glad I got to try this. I do have more in my collection that I need to try, but this one's sticking around. And then for 9B, favorite beverage, a drink or water themed item. I put in the Phytosurgeon's Fresh Fog Highlighter. Fog is water-based. And I ended up getting my five uses on that and I decluttered it. The, the formula is very strange. It's not a cream, it's not a powder, it's not an in-between product. If you read their website, it says, let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, so this says that it's a, it's, a glitter-free radiance that's unlike any traditional highlighter on the market. That is true. 
Think finishing powder and highlighter hybrid in a cream to powder form. It takes away oiliness or dewiness, but leaves behind a soft focus radiance akin to soft box lighting. If you want metallic shine, this isn't it. This is your skin under amazing lighting in a compact. It says that it will not melt with the warmth of your finger. That is true. And you want to use a semi-dense brush or you can use a velour puff. I tried all of those ways. For a brush application, it says holding the base of a semi-dense brush, swipe in the pan for around 10 seconds with moderate to hard pressure to pick up product. The analogy we like to use is pretend you are spreading cold butter on toast. You should see product building up on the brush, then apply softly to the face. I didn't feel like I got anything on the brush. With fingers, it says with decent pressure, swirl your finger into the pan repeatedly to pick up product. Then in short swiping, dragging motions, blend it into the skin. Tapping gently will not deposit product well. It will not melt no matter how much you swirl. It will remain firm to the touch. I know a lot of people love this highlighter. It just did not work for me, so I decluttered it. And I'm hoping that the student that got it, I, I explained all that to them and they're like, I'll try it. So we'll see, but yikes it did not work for me so that got decluttered after the five uses so let's go on I um, oh also I want to talk about the conqueror challenge so Deb brought to Jen and I she said hey I like to do these conqueror challenges they're like run walk 5k marathon things that you can do online and you can go through like bunches of places in the world and she said what if I did that instead of watching the movies do you want in and I was like yes so Debbie had this great idea go see her channel she's got a channel too and um, we had to do 96 miles and I did it I got my um, medal this is for the conquer challenge for the Dia de los Muertos race and it was 158 kilometers, 98 miles. Isn't this beautiful? This is like heavy too. It's my first medal that I ever got. And on the back, this is, ooh, so pretty, so pretty. So I'm definitely gonna display this sucker in the back because I actually like the back of it better than the front um, because I'm very proud of it. So that takes care of the rest of the prompts that I had to do for the movies. So those are done and I'm excited about that. But I am more excited that I did this walk. Jen was doing it, Andrea was doing it, there were some other people doing it. So it's definitely legit if you come across it try it. You get a ton of different postcards along the way. It's just really fun. So those are out of the way as well. So let me tell you what I'm bringing into this project. The first is for, um, and I'm just going right down the list. So I'm doing 10, 11, and 12 today. 10A is candy, a sweet scented product or candy theme. I decided to bring in this Nest Ocean Mist and Coconut Water perfume. It's a travel size. And I just want to get down to that line there. If, if I hold this correctly, the line I made up here is correct, but I just want to get down to that line. So that is my goal for that. For Spanish, a Latinx owned brand, I'm bringing in my Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil in Serenity. I just got this and I featured it in my buys and buys. I'm really excited to try it. It's a lip stain slash oil and I've been really wanting to find one that works that actually stains my lips. Um, but isn't a liquid lipstick, that kind of thing. So there it is there. I will show you the staying powder power of this. I will wipe this off my hand and the stain will still be there. So that is fabulous. So that is that. Um, for prompt 11A, highlight the deceased person's favorite things, a highlighter. I decided to bring in my Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. This is so beautiful. And so I wanna get some more use on it. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, it just leaves such a pretty finish on my skin. It's not like um, bam in your face, but it's not like, I don't know. I, I wanna say it's like an ethereal glow. It just looks pretty. And there it is right there. See that shine? Oh, it's so pretty. And you can you can definitely make it, make it racing stripe or you can make it just look beautiful and natural. And that's what I really love about that product. Oh my gosh, I have Tropico highlighter everywhere. Okay, 
11B, skull and bones shaped items, a bone shade eyeshadow or an item with a skull on the packaging or an imprint. I decided to go with a bone shade eyeshadow and this is the Sydney Grace Queen of the North. This has like a pretty good dip going if you can see that. And I love using this just as either something to put over my painterly paint pot to set my shadow or to set my primer or if I need to blend something out because it was too harsh on my eye, I use this. So this is like my favorite, just whatever you need it for shade. It is perfect. So I am bringing that in to use five times. And then the last prompt is 12. 12A is rich families have servants guarding family possessions displayed at the altars. Bring in your most expensive item. So I decided to bring in a mini eyeshadow palette. This is one of my most expensive mini eyeshadow palettes and it's from Natasha Denona and it's the mini retro palette. I just love this. Amy Melissa gifted me all the ones she had. So I'm gonna show you a swatch of each of these so you can see all of the shades. One, two, three, four. Oh, that one's kind of like the phytosurgeons. But there they are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm really excited to use these. And my goal is to do one look, just one look with the palette. You guys know that I am, I guess a lot of you say I'm more of a realistic panner in the sense that I don't wear makeup every day. I pan slow. I'm like, I don't know if that's realistic. I mean, a lot of people wear makeup every day um, and are to me more of a realistic panner than myself because at least they're wearing makeup every day. But anyway, um, I if I put it in for more than one look, then I'm neglecting my other things and yada, yada, yada. And I find that this is what works for me. And then last but not least for 12B Aztec Culture, oldest item in any category, I am bringing in my e.l.f. I Love You A Latte palette. I have not even used this one. And it is all matte, which is why I brought it in. I thought that it would be nice with my Rowan um, Better Together palette. No, my Rowan Pan That palette, that's my Pan That palette. So this I'm also looking just to do one look with. Maybe I'll just do an all matte look, I don't know. But these are the shades. <clears throat> and they seem pretty smooth. So there they are right there. That's a pretty good brown palette. So we'll see, we'll see if I end up keeping it, if I like it, if it works well for me. Um, I'm excited to try it though, because it, like I said, I've had it in my collection for quite a bit now and I've not used it, so it, it needs to be used. But anyway, that's my update for Day of the Dead Project Pan. Um, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for joining me and giving me part of your day. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon. Bye.